We're going to check back in with our Elle Bottom. She is over at the Kentucky Derby Museum this morning. Uh, they have so many new exhibits. If you kind of want to get into that derby mood, the Derby Museum is the place to be. Hey there, Elle. Claudia, it has been so fun hanging out this morning at the Derby Museum. I almost get emotional coming in here just because there's just so much rich history in the video that plays before you go on a tour. It is something so special here, and we're so thankful that we have something like this in our community. But this is where you first really walk in. It's the Winter Circle, and this is an ever-changing exhibit. It is. We're really proud that the winter circle changes over each year. So Mage is going to live here for a few more weeks. Uh -huh. um, and then at the end of May, we're going to turn it over to whoever the next Derby 150 winner is. Um, we actually have an artist that we work with and he paints our horse mm -hmm. to look exactly like the winner. So the horse comes down into the basement. We set up a whole paint station. So we're really excited that, you know, soon enough we're going to be able to commemorate Mage in the rest of the museum for all of eternity. Yeah. And then Derby 150 will get whoever it is, their shining moment in the winter circle. Oh, that is so fun. And I love to, behind Terry here, you actually have the, the bright that mage wore and the, some of the horseshoes that he wore too so you really make it a really interactive for people to come in but also there's plenty of other exhibits that people can see here too there are we just um, also opened a long shots exhibit so everyone loves a good underdog story yeah. um, and being able to show off some really beautiful pieces of history from those winners mm -hmm. was also really special to partner up with those owners um, so whenever an owner a trainer a jockey um, wants to see their piece of history on display. We just are really honored that people trust the museum to do that. We have 10,000 objects in this museum, yeah. not all of them on display. And being a curator of Derby history is really important to us. Mm -hmm. And you guys are open until tomorrow for tours, but you have a special deal on Sunday. We do. We're really excited for the first time this year to celebrate Derby 150. The day after Derby, we're going to offer free mission so please after derby come on by visit enjoy and linger in that derby history moment um, and we're just really excited to host everyone mm -hmm. And if people are interested in getting those tickets, booking their tours, how can people do that? If you go to derbymuseum.org, all of the information is there for you. We try to make it as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. So come on in. A lot of people have been coming in. Take the shuttle, park at the Expo Center. That's a pro tip here. Park at the Expo Center, get shuttled in. Um, you can buy your tickets right here or even better do it online. But Katrina, thank you so much for uh, getting us all in the spirit for Derby Week. It's a big one. It is. We're really excited to have you guys here. More Great Day Live after the break.